Hello, Titty Goose Tech here back again with another video. Today we're, I'm going to do a software tutorial on, uh, yeah, on RT Maker's Cura. Right as I can, I'll pull up right here. We are using 15.04.5 for a reference. And if you hit that like button, if you want to see either me print this object or do a uh, do a community spotlight video on it or do one of th this kind of video again on a on the newer curvas or a different software such as slicer okay and in anyway today we're going to be printing for the Ultimaker 2 extended 3d printer and this is the foot. So as you can see, this is by Moon Cactus on Thingiverse. And as you can see, it fits on to the Ultimaker. Now we're using the two extended, but I've heard that they use that that the the, the original feet work on the two. So anyway, we're we're going to go down here. Don't click this button right here. Because we download all the files. Click this 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 click this umfeet.stl and I'm gonna bring up Cura. I'm gonna move that off to the side and bring up Cura and I'm going to basically pick up the file and you see how I have the the little plus icon next to my cursor, I don't know if you can see that, and then I'm going to let go. And Kura is going to slice. It really slice, slices something very, very fast and very efficiently. So, now I'm going to walk you through some print settings. Before you want to really do anything. Basically, we're going up here to under where it says basic and layer height should be 0.2 like that we're sizing for the automaker 2 extended and not for the 2 plus extended this should work for, for the regular automaker 2 as well so shower thickness you want 0.8 you want retraction enabled unless you're printing in ninja flex I have never printed in Ninja Flex before, so we're gonna just make sure attractions enabled. And then fill density, we we'll probably wanna, for, because this, a, a whole printer is gonna be sitting on top of this thing, 75. As you can see, our print time is going up as we're doing this. We want support type. Before I move on, I'm going to teach you how to take a look at the model. So, I don't, you don't know if you can see this, but I'm holding down the left click button on my mouse, and we're going to drag, no, and now we're going to click the, the model. And as you can see here, you, you you might not want to do it for this for all models. I'm not responsible if you if you take this too far and and get an incorrect formed model. So anyway, make sure uniform scale has this lock symbol and 1.0 is 100%. That means 2.2.0 is 200 percent so as you can see it is abnormally large and this would not fit on our printer and if you if you want to scale that down you can do and make it a little itty bitty thing or like even smaller by just typing in the numbers you can play on the scale this model is designed for 100 percent so this is exactly what it's designed for so we're going to leave it there so the automaker 2 extended has two has four feet on it 
meaning we're going to want four of these things. So now we're going to left click on the object, now right click on the object, and, and click multiply object, and you want to subtract one from your total amount. So that means we need three copies. It's going to print them in this orientation, which is fine, but if let's say I want them in a square so it's easier for me to watch the print, now I'm just going to click on the one and drag, drag it over like you would a picture in a PowerPoint. And now they're all arranged. And now, what if I want to center them? Okay. Uh, now, well, we actually, I just checked. You cannot select them as a group, really. So, uh, so we're gonna. This formation looks good to me. Because and anyway, now we're gonna we run with those settings after we fixed our orientations and stuff. Now we're going to make sure we want a brim. If we switch this to none, it's just going to slide off the platform very easily. And who wants that? So we're going to switch that to brim and make sure it's going to stick down real good. And pro tip, if you have the Automaker 2 Extended Plus or the 2 Plus, which has the exchangeable nozzles, you're going to want to make sure this nozzle size is correct. If you don't, your prints are going to totally fail. So anyway, leave this. Uh, you can pause the video here. Or I might put a little picture in the description or something in the description with all of these quality settings that I use. And if you're using PLA, make sure this enable cooling fan is checked. And if it's ABS, make sure it's unchecked. Because if, if you have ABS and it's unchecked, your parts are going to warp on the spot and fail. And plugins, you, you really don't need to worry about that for this print. So now we can move on to some of the more advanced things that aren't necessarily settings. So to rotate, you click on it. You left click, click rotate. You can either reset it or you can lay flat. Depending on what you want or as you can see here, what I'm doing is the what's sort of confusing about this particular Rokura that I sort of had trouble with is that red is Z, red is rotate on the Z axis, green is the Y axis, and yellow is the X. So if I want to rotate this so it's uniform, like with all the other ones. I want to make sure we're going to rotate it 90 degrees, like so, and let go, and then left click rotate again. Now it's all uniform and pretty much ready to print. And I have an, and real quick, I have an announcement for, for, you, for you all. Razor, if you don't know who Razor is, it's a company that makes gaming and computer peripherals and systems. They're sponsoring this video. And I have links in the description below to benefit this channel through them. That's completely free. So anyway, as you can see up here, we have, this is our magical button, which you're going to click in a minute. Uh, so right now, basically it's going to take 
five hours and 51 minutes to print and 9.81 meters of plastic and it's going to weigh 78 grams and if you configure it you can tell you can tell you how much your print is going to cost based on how much filament it's going to use I just inserted my SD card as you can see here and do you see SD right here this one we're going to left click that and then we're going to select the SD drive and I'm going to click G because that's what my card is and as you can see down here it says saved as umfeet.g code which is good for me I'm going to click eject and now I can go back in my little whole 3D printed holder. That's all for this video. If you enjoyed, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.